everybody, welcome. So today I have just a small little Sephora haul to share with you as well as some of my recommendations for the VIB sale happening this week. Before I get into the video, I did just want to take a second and say a huge thank you to Jen Phelps, who recently shared my uh, L'Oreal mascara video to one of her Facebook groups, and I am just clearly, like, speechless. I don't even know what to say. I am so honored, flattered, grateful. Thank you. Um, yeah, <laughs> I just, like, I just, I'm, I'm blown away. It honestly just means so much to have that kind of support. And so I really don't know what else I can say besides thank you, thank you, thank you. And to all of you who came to my channel and checked out some of my videos at the recommendation of Jen, thank you all so much as well. Seriously, I just appreciate it so much. And uh, while we're here, just <laughs> in general, thank you to everybody who has subscribed to my channel, liked my videos, watched my videos, commented, shown support in any way, shape, or form. It does not go unnoticed, and I so very much appreciate it. I know that 850 subscribers is not a lot to a lot of people, but everybody starts somewhere, and Honestly, I just, the enthusiasm and positivity that you guys bring to my videos makes this so much fun and so enjoyable to do. So thank you all so much. I will wrap this up uh, because I don't really know what to say. But again, I just wanted to say thank you for all of the support. It does not go unnoticed and it is so very appreciated. So getting into the actual haul now, I realized that this video might be a little bit backwards. Usually people post hauls after the sale and show what they picked up during the sale, but I am somebody who actually likes to watch haul videos before sales because it just kind of puts different products on my radar. I like seeing what people are buying and a lot of times I find a lot of new products that I wouldn't have come across otherwise that pique my interest and it just gives me some ideas and products to look at during sale time. So that's why I'm posting this now um, and then I do just have a few products, some of my favorites that I wanted to share with you too that I think would be worth checking out during the sale. The Sephora Spring VIB sale is happening now through the 19th and um, you can shop at different times depending on your level at Sephora. So I will have the dates broken down in the description box if you are curious when you are eligible to shop. Um, but as far as the first product, so the first thing that I picked up is the Huda Beauty Chocolate Brown Eyeshadow Palette. So these are new palettes. There are three of them, I believe. I picked up the Chocolate Brown Obsessions Palette and I will insert a close-up for you here as well as some swatches. But basically this is just one of her mini sort of nine pan eyeshadow palettes and this was $29. So one thing I did want to point out with this is because I did the close-up and swatches of this palette last night because I wanted it to be fresh before I used it. Um, and in the close-up that you saw, these two shades here uh, look very similar. This one, though, is actually like a little bit more peachy in terms of hue. So I just wanted to point that out because in that close-up, like I said, they look almost identical and they are pretty similar, but the this one here on the, <laughs> on the bottom is, is much more peach kind of in terms of tones. But anyway, I am wearing this on my eyes today. When these initially launched, I wasn't super like enthused by them, but then I saw a picture on social media of somebody who had posted a look using this and I just knew that it was something that I had to get my hands on. So I kind of recreated the look um, that I'm wearing today based on that picture I saw. Kind of just my quick initial impressions are that the mattes in this palette are really nice. They are really, really great matte shadows, very pigmented, very blendable, easy to work with. Um, the shimmers are okay. Uh, they aren't as intense as I had expected them to be. I'm able to build them up and I was able to get kind of the intensity to show up on my eyes the way that I wanted it to, but it did take a little bit of work. So um, those were just kind of my initial thoughts, but overall I do really like the colors in here. This is a very warm toned palette. I especially like the packaging on this. I think it's super cute and I do like the size of it as well. I have a lot of very large palettes. So just having something smaller like this to just kind of pack in a weekend bag or something like that is nice too. So um, overall I do, upon my first kind of use, first impression, I do like it and I'm excited to continue playing around with this. So that was the first thing I got. Second thing that I'll talk about is a serum. So this is the Pharmacy Filling Good Hyaluronic Acid 
plumping serum. So this I actually used this morning um, as well. I'll read you what this says it's supposed to do, but it says it's a skin plumping micro filling serum that hydrates and smooths the look of fine lines. This powerful formula features advanced multimolecular hyaluronic acid designed to penetrate the skin more effectively, along with amino acids and vegan collagen peptides to deliver visibly plump, healthy looking skin. And it says you can use this AM or PM. I bought this for the purpose of actually using it as a daytime serum. Like I said, I did already give this a try this morning, so I will just share kind of my initial thoughts with you. Basically, I am just very picky when it comes to daytime serums because I don't want something that's going to feel heavy on my skin. I don't want it to be sticky. Obviously, makeup needs to layer nicely on top of it. So I've had a lot of trouble in the past finding good daytime serums that basically feel uh, nice and comfortable on the skin. I do have to say that initially I have no concerns with this product. I think that it's going to be something that I really enjoy. The formula of this is very thin. I will show you here so that you can kind of see me pump it out, see the texture of it, things like that. Obviously I put a lot on my hand here, so it's going to sink in, but I did find that after this sunk into my skin, I really couldn't tell that I had anything on. It didn't leave a very heavy or sticky feeling at all, which like I said, uh, that's not something that I'm looking for. So overall I did like the way that this felt on my skin. I obviously don't know about the actual like plumping effect and the results portion yet because I put this on my skin like two hours ago, but I'm going to continue using this. I think I'll probably use it for about 30 days and then make a separate video on this and let you know some more of my thoughts, um, things I noticed if I'm going to continue using it and do kind of a full review. But initially I do have good feelings about this. So again, this is the pharmacy feeling good serum. And uh, how much was this? So this was, this was actually $44. So you get an ounce of product. Um, and for a good serum, 44 bucks isn't actually that bad. So fingers crossed that I continue to like this, but be on the lookout for a video probably a month from now where I will actually do a review and check in on this product. So the next product that I picked up was the Fenty Beauty Blurring Skin Tint. So this is the new foundation uh, that was just released by Fenty. I picked mine up in the shade 3, and this is... How much was this? This was $29.50 for an ounce of product. So um, I will insert a swatch for you here. Again, I have shade three, just so that you can kind of see the color of it and see the texture of the product as well. This basically says that it is a light to medium coverage for all skin tones, blends and blurs to instant perfection, light as air. I am also wearing this product today because I just couldn't wait to test it out. But basically, um, kind of my initial thoughts on the product are that I do think that this is going to be something that I'm going to like as well. I do feel like I got pretty light to medium coverage. As they said, it does feel very light on my skin. It blended very seamlessly. I usually apply something like this with my fingers and then smooth it out with a brush. I feel like I didn't really even need to use a brush if I didn't want to. Um, just went on super smoothly. That might have actually been thanks to the serum as well. I don't know, but uh, overall I do like the way that this left my skin looking. It does feel very nice and comfortable on the skin. Again, I've only had this on for about two hours though, so I have no idea how it's going to wear. But again, I'm going to continue using this and wearing it, see how it performs on my skin and things like that, and then I will um, likely come back and use this in an actual video and do a more thorough review on it. So moving on to the last skin product that I picked up, this is the Ilia True Skin Serum Concealer. This says it is smoothing and brightening and it has stabilized vitamin C and mastic. Um, I actually haven't really heard anything about this concealer. The reason that I picked it up is because I'm looking for another concealer to use under my eyes, something that's a little bit more creamy, a little bit more moisturizing, things like that. And I don't know, the fact that this said it was a smoothing and brightening and serum concealer seemed like it, it checked those boxes. So I picked this up for me in the shade SC.5 Arrowroot. This product was $30 and I will insert a swatch so that you can see the color. Again, this is SC.5 Arrowroot. I have not used this yet, but I'm excited to give it a try. If you have used it, let me know your thoughts or if you have any other um, concealers that you recommend for under the eyes that are like more moisturizing and very blendable, let me know as well because I am searching for a good one. Moving on to some eyes and lips now. One of the other things I picked up was the Tarte Quick Stick. This is a waterproof shadow and liner stick. So this is one of those products that's kind of a double-sided thing. You've got the shadow stick on one end and then a liner on another. This is a another new um, release from Tarte. 
I picked mine up in the shade Rose Gold Luster Slash Brown, and this was $25. So again, I have not used this yet. Um, it swatched really nicely. I just thought this would be another product that would kind of be a good like spring, summer, quick makeup product, something that I could use every day. I have kind of a love-hate relationship with shadow sticks, so I'm not sure if this is actually something that I'm going to like or not. I'm very picky when it comes to that because they have hooded eyelids. So a lot of times with shadow sticks like this, if they don't dry down right away, they leave my lid it's feeling very like heavy and very sticky and it's very uncomfortable. I don't like quite know how to describe it, but um, yeah, it's not often that I find a good shadow stick. But I like the idea of them and I really wish that I had more of them that I enjoyed using. So I don't know, maybe this will be one, maybe it won't. And with this one in particular, I do like that it had the liner on the other end as well. I just find it to be a little bit more versatile that way. So um, on kind of the theme of cream shadows. I also picked up the Super Goop Shimmer Shade Eyeshadow. So this is a kind of like cream eyeshadow. It's actually like very moussey. I'll insert a close-up to try to show you the texture of this. I guess I would describe it more as a like moussey shadow. This caught my eye because it has SPF in it. So again, I'm very much in the like spring summer mindset right now, if you couldn't tell, but I like the idea of being able to wear something like this on a day-to-day -day basis and get the sun protection on my eyelids, which is not something that I often get, I guess. <laughs> so uh, anyway, I picked mine up in the shade First Light and this matches my skin tone very well. So I apologize if it's a little bit difficult to see the swatch, but basically this is just very beautiful. It's very light, kind of sheer. It's got kind of flecks of gold in it. And I think, again, this will just be something that's really pretty to use kind of on a day-to-day -day basis. And then you get that benefit of added sun protection. So I'm always looking for products like this, again, that I can wear daily that are quick to use and have some kind of added benefit. Benefit. So like I said, my mind is very much on spring, summer right now and SPF. So I'm excited to try this one as well and actually put it on my eyes and see kind of how the color translates. But again, this is the Super Goop Shimmer Shade Eyeshadow and this was... $24 for this guy. So the last thing that I picked up was a lip product and this is the Fresh Sugar Lip Treatment in the shade Tulip. This also has SPF, has SPF 15 in here. And I love these fresh like lip treatments. I've used them for years. I usually just use the clear one, but they are like by far some of my favorite lip balms. And the smell of these is amazing. I think that's the thing that gets me the most. These are expensive though. So it's usually around this time during the Sephora sale that I will actually treat myself to another one of these. These are $24. Like I said, I'm thinking about spring. So this tulip shade, that's kind of like a hot pink really just spoke to me, but I do like that these are also a little bit more sheer. So you're going to get that bright pop of color, but it's not going to be super in your face and super intense. So I don't know. I was just in the mood for something bright and fun for the season. So I got this one. I know that I really love these. So this is kind of one of my recommendations for the sale as well. I tend to buy these during this time, like I said, because they are more expensive but um, just the regular clear ones as well, as well as some of their uh, lip treatments that actually come in the tins that you have to use your finger to apply. Those are some of my favorites. They all smell amazing. They feel great on your lips. So I definitely recommend, but I'm very excited to kind of give this hot pink shade a try for spring. So those are all the products that I picked up during the haul. And now I just wanted to mention a couple of the products that I've been loving lately, a couple of my favorites that I would recommend taking a look at during the sale. So the first one is the Bare Minerals Blonde. I have this in the shade Kiss of Pink. I did a full video on this, so I'm going to try not to talk too much about it, but basically I just freaking love this. Uh, it has been one of my favorite products lately. I cannot stop using this. I can't put it down. Again, I did do a full kind of review and demo on this, so I will link it for you below if you want to check it out, but this product really really surprised me. I said it in that video. I said that I liked it in that video, but it wasn't until after that video that I continued to reach for this day after day after day that I really realized how much I liked it. This is great for the days that I am just putting on like tinted moisturizer. It's a very natural looking product. It's very subtle. The idea behind this is that it's a blush and bronzer in one. So you're supposed to kind of apply it to your cheeks, to the center of your face. They tell you to make this like W shape in the center of your face and then I pop this kind of on my hairline as well And I just find that it is so like natural and so subtle It's very luminous and again on those days that I'm not really wearing any other makeup This just brings the life back into my face and really warms up my complexion 
So yeah, I have just really been enjoying this product. Like I said, I can't put it down, so I would definitely recommend checking out this during the sale. Again, this is the Bare Minerals Gen Nude Bronzer. I have mine in the shade Kiss of Pink, which is the lightest shade, but they do have two other shades as well if you've got a deeper complexion. So um, the next two products that I wanted to mention are some of my favorite products ever. These are skincare items that are expensive. And so I'm mentioning them now because I would recommend, if you're interested in them, getting them while you can get them at a discount. I'm going to be picking up um, backups of both of these while I can get them on sale as well. So the first one that I'll talk about is the Drunk Elephant TLC Framboos Glycolic Night Treatment. I have talked about this before. I included this in my 2020 favorites video, um, but this is just by far my favorite night serum. I feel like it really helps keep clogged pores at bay and really helps kind of even and refine my skin tone and texture. It's a great serum. I've used this for years. I've probably went through eight or nine bottles of this now at this point and I've I have tried, believe me, to find something that is cheaper. This is $90 for one ounce, but I have tried so many different products, so many different glycolic like exfoliating treatments, and I just really haven't found anything that compares to this. So I use this every night. This is my favorite night serum. Again, um, Drunk Elephant TLC Framboos Glycolic Night Treatment. They also came out with a new one, actually, um, that is like their polypeptide serum. I believe it's in a green bottle, and I believe it's also supposed to be a night serum. So that one intrigued me as well. I don't know if I will actually make the switch and give that one a try because, again, I've made them mistake before of thinking that I can find something else that I'm going to like and I always find my way back to this one but if you have used the new Drunk Elephant one let me know what you think because my eye has kind of been on that but I'm uncertain of whether or not it's something that I'm willing to try so anyway yeah definitely recommend this product favorite night serum and then the other skincare item that I have is actually a physical exfoliator but this is kind of an expensive product as well I believe this is somewhere in like the $60 range um, this is another fresh product so this is the fresh sugar face polish I also talked about this in my 2020 favorites video this is my favorite physical exfoliator. Um, it's one of those products. It's super gritty. It's very exfoliating. So I don't use this all the time. I usually use this one to two times per week. Um, the idea here is that this is a mask. So you're supposed to put it on and then leave it on for a few minutes and then rinse it off. But again, I just, it's a great physical exfoliator. It's super gritty, but it's still very gentle and this is something I get compliments on my skin after I use this all of the time because not only is it exfoliating after I rinse this off it really does provide the most beautiful like glow and radiance to the skin and that's not something that I experience with a lot of other physical exfoliators usually you get the benefit of the physical exfoliation but your skin is often left especially when they're as gritty as this one your skin's left feeling a little bit more like dull and dehydrated but this one actually brings like nourishment back into your skin. So I haven't found anything else that I like better than this. Again, I tend to pick one of these up once a year at this time during the sale because it is a little bit more expensive. But again, I mean, I think that it's totally worth it. I love the way that this makes my skin look and feel. So I would definitely recommend checking out this product as well if you are in the market for a good physical exfoliator. All right, you guys, that is all I have for you. I hope that you enjoyed this little Sephora haul as well as a few other recommendations for sale time. And um, if you're anything like me, like I said, I just like watching these hauls before I actually shop a sale because it kind of puts my eye on some things that I may not have come across otherwise. So um, if any of these products piqued your interest, if there's anything here that you're interested in checking out, let me know down below. Thank you so much for watching. Again, I know I said it in the beginning, so I won't say it again, but I really appreciate you watching. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below, and I will see you all in my next video.